Hi all, in the previous session we were discussing about line codes and the different types in line codes. Today we will cover another important aspect of pulse code modulation. In pulse code modulation we have seen that the quantization process may follow a uniform law as described earlier or in certain applications uh, it is preferable to use a variable separation between the representation levels. In examples whatever we have studied we have seen that delta size is fixed saying that uh, it might be 2 volt or it might be 1 volt but variable separation between representation levels can also be used. For example the range of voltage is covered by Y signals from the peaks of loud talk to that of uh, weak talk is in the order of 1000 to 1 that is if you consider 1000 volt is the loudest voice when you talk 1 volt might be the weakest voice you are going to get so the uh, signal with the weakest voice will be having 1 volt amplitude so there is a large difference and you cannot represent all these voltage levels okay so that will increase the bandwidth so we can use a non-uniform quantizer for this purpose and here uh, the feature is that step size increases as the separation from the origin of the input output amplitude characteristic is increased that is if signal increases at a very fast rate the step size will be large if the signal is very slow or uh, it is going with a lower phase then the step size will be small and thereby the large amplitude levels are represented by different step size and weak passages are represented by different step size. In this way nearly uniform percentage precision is achieved throughout the greater part of amplitude range of the input signal with the result that fewer steps are needed than would be in the case of uniform quantizer were used. So in non-uniform quantizer you are going to have fewer steps and thereby you are going to save the bandwidth and essentially this non-uniform quantizer is equivalent to passing a baseband signal through a compressor and applying the compressor signal to a uniform quantizer that is compressor means you are going to somehow limit the amplitude level of the signal and then you apply the signal to uniform quantizer and at the receiver end uh, you need to have a circuit called as expander which restores the signal samples to their correct relative level okay and the combination of compressor and an expander is a compander and another point to note is the compression and exp expansion laws are exactly inverse so that except for the effect of quantization the expander output is equal to the compressor input so we need to get back our signal in the original state itself after compounding so there are two major types of compression loss one is mu law compression another one is a law compression mu law is having maximum mu is equal to 255 which is used in US, Canada and Japan whereas a law compounder is having a typical value of 87.6 used in Europe. So the characteristic of mu law and a law compounders have been given here. M and V are the normalized input and output voltages whereas if we have mu is equal to 0 or A is equal to 1 these compressors work as if they are uniform quantizers or the compression is uniform or you can say uh, in other words there will not be any compression input and output are linearly related this fact will understand if we go through the normalized input versus normalized out output characteristics of mu law and a law you can see here in mu law when mu is equal to 0 
there is a linear input output relation whereas mu goes on increasing the relation becomes more logarithmic similarly when a is equal to 1 there is a linear relationship between input and output of the compressor then as a increases there is a logarithmic relation between input and output so the similar kind of circuit which is inverse of compressor or you can call it as expander is used at the receiver so as to get back the original signal so these are the equations governing these two curves that is uh, these two characteristics mu law and a law that's all about the compounding concept in the next session we will understand delta modulation thank you